All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full time reseller. And today I am bringing you part one of an estate sale haul. This sale is what dreams are made of. This sale was just amazing. I think it was amazing anyway. And to be honest with you, I didn't even go into the basement, an entire basement. I skipped over. And I know some of my friends went a couple hours after I was there and they were still finding amazing things. So uh, yeah, I probably could have gone in, I don't even know how many more times. I made three trips in and out of there, checked out three different times. I spent a total of $443. So yeah, <laughs> I spent quite a bit. But I know I'm going to make a really good profit. And uh, let me just start showing you what I bought. First of all, this house was packed. It was like a little aisle to walk through, but it wasn't like dirty. It was like um, the lady definitely bought and bought and bought. Like she had a ton of stuff, but it wasn't like dirty or anything. So anyhow... I'm going to start here with hard goods. We'll do that. And then in part two, I will do like all the clothes and shoes and handbags, which there is, there is actually quite a bit of that. I think there's more of that than the hard goods this time, but I just found, you know, a lot of good stuff and it was stuff I could reach. There were just so many people and I couldn't do a lot of digging with my big giant Ikea bags, but I was finding a lot of good stuff right on the surface. So anyhow... Let's get into it. All right, so first thing, I got this little guy right here. And I will have to look up this. His little lantern is kind of wonky. I will have to look up this exact one, but it's a um, Simpich elf. And they can sell for a lot of money. So super excited about that one I should have looked to see if I could find any more um then I grabbed these I haven't looked I haven't looked these up yet but they are salt marsh pottery Dartmouth Massachusetts and I know some of the studio pottery can do well um jewelweed campanula I mean I don't know this is I think these are from the 80s oh this one's 90 so I don't really know, I don't really know how these are going to do, but, but I grabbed them. Sometimes I just try to like pick up unique things or whatever. I mean, to be honest with you, even this uh, Simpage Elf, never heard of it before, but it looked unique, put it in my bag. It was the right choice. <laughs> it was definitely the right choice. So then I got, I got three of these, um, or three packages. P. Buckley Moss. They are cloth dolls. Kind of like Amish looking dolls. This one has a sheep. They actually had five boxes of these and I left two behind because I could not carry them. I just couldn't carry them. And I was hoping that um, I told one of my friends about them, but by the time she got there, they were already gone. Um, so yeah. Uh, I, the other ones I'll have to show you in a minute because they're, they're kind of buried here. So anyhow, I grabbed a bunch of gold collection cross stitch kits, two of the smaller ones and six of the larger ones. So super, super excited about these. I'm really not going to give you individual prices on most stuff because, um, I don't even know. Uh, a lot of it wasn't marked and I was kind of just given a bulk price uh, every time I checked out. The only thing that really has prices on are the handbags that I purchased. So anyway, but like I said, I did spend a total of $443 on all of this. That's including the purse and, and like everything that's going to be in both of these videos. So anyway, then these are silver needle kits. I got a ton of these. I think about nine of them, eight, eight or nine of those. They definitely don't sell for as much as the gold collection, but still not bad. 
I got this little long burger, kind of like a shamrock bowl. I thought that was kind of cute. I've never seen this piece. And then I also got three of the nesting bowls. This is in um, the Woven Traditions Green. So that is a, that's a nice set. You guys know I love my long burger. They had some other pieces. I just, I just couldn't get everything, you know? I had my two Ikea bags, which I filled up and then took to the car and emptied, brought them back in, filled them, took them to the car, emptied them, well, except for one. Then I went in with one and I found this super giant, massive bag. If you saw um, my Instagram story today, which is now, it's Friday, January 24th when I'm filming this and when I went to the sale, but the video probably won't be out till like the 25th maybe. But anyway, if you saw my Instagram, the bag was huge. I found that in there and I used that to just kind of put a bunch of stuff in. All right, so moving on here, I got three of these Royal Doll Inn uh, Brambley Hedge figurines. They don't have their boxes or anything but they should still bring like 15 20 dollars a piece three of those and <laughs> funny story about royal dalton figurines uh the beatrix potter they used to do a lot better than they currently do now but about i want to say seven years ago I was at a store, it's no longer there. It, it was up in Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania. And it might've even been eight years ago. I don't know, but the store is, like I said, no longer there. But I was in this thrift store and somehow got to talk into somebody. And I don't, I don't, end up, I don't know how it went, but they knew someone who had these figurines in the back of his truck. These Beatrix, these Royal Dalton Beatrix Potter figurines, and he wanted to get rid of them. And it was just the weirdest thing. And they put me in touch with this guy and he met me at the Wawa, which was like across the street. So I bought these figurines out of his, what turned out to be like this creepy, dirty white van. <laughs> It was like a real shady scenario. It really was. But I paid $60 for the entire set. And at the time, like I said, they were selling for a lot more than they currently are. And I made a killing off of those. I was, a lot of them I was selling for like $40, $50, $60 dollars a piece. It was so cool. But anyway, I've made some weird deals in parking lots. <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, moving on. So this right here, I didn't even know what this was either. But I saw this, what I believe is German writing, you know, made in Western Germany. So yeah, I saw this in the closet, top shelf. I kind of grabbed it, put it in my bag. Some things I'm like, I'll buy it and I'll check later, you know. Um, so this is actually really cool. It's Hennig Puppin Herd. Probably, I, I might not be saying that right. The only, the only flaw is I took it out of the package and I realized it is missing... Well, it doesn't have any of the accessories, but maybe it's not supposed to. So it is a, it's like a stove for like a dollhouse or something. It's actually gorgeous. It looks like it has like this slate kind of cooktop. The little doors open and the oven opens and everything. This right here actually pops out. So I don't know, but the only thing on the box, it shows that it's got this gold thing, which it does not have. Um, so I don't know, but I think I'll still be able to sell it for $20. Um, some There's one listed for like 80. I don't know. I don't really know, but I mean, this is, re it's really a quality piece. I mean, you can really tell it's a quality piece. Um, I really should have looked around for more pieces like this. It was just, it was a hectic sale. Like I said, I didn't even get to film there. There was no way possible I would have been able to film and get the stuff that I got. It was literally insane. Even my friends who were there like three hours later were telling me that the place was still packed. It was just crazy. 
Uh, I did pick up a couple of puzzles. You guys know how I like picking up puzzles. This one was a dollar. This it's marked. Uh, this one here was two dollars. Not bad for a thousand piece sealed puzzle. Um, so yeah. And here we have this one's a big one. This is another one of those dolls. Actually, this is two of them. That's two of them. The only thing is I don't think they have paperwork, which is a shame because I don't really know which ones that, you know, they are. But some of the comps on these are really good. I, a lot of them average around like 50 though. I'm gonna put this piece of paper back in here. I really wish I would have kind of grabbed all of them, but I just, I only had so much room and I had this, I mean, this box, like you can see how big this box is. And I had this on top of other stuff in my Ikea bag that was already chock full. So let me see here. Okay, so then the next one I got is this little gal right here. Now the first one and this one, these are like smaller ones, they're in smaller boxes. Uh, then I picked up these, these are Marjolin Bastin. You guys know I always picked, uh, I always pick her stuff up. Um, these are a dollar a piece. They're just little candle holders. There were actually four of them and I only grabbed two. Just little Santas. I've never seen the little Santas before and they have like the little birds down there. And I don't know, I just thought they were kind of cute. They're not gonna, you know, bring millions or anything like that, but thought they were cute. Okay, then I got a huge lot of Department 56 Halloween Village stuff. And I got an amazing price. This stuff I actually checked out separately. Um, this this set was the first set I grabbed. I saw it in the photos. I knew I wanted it. And when I walked in, I was I was number six in line. I got there early. Uh, they were giving out numbers at eight. And I got there like one minute before eight and got my number and they didn't open till nine, but I was number six in there. So I walked right into the room. This stuff was sitting there. I knew I wanted it. So it was the first thing I did. I grabbed it, paid for it, took it out to my car. I got a great price on this entire set. This set alone was like $55 for all of it. So I'm gonna kind of see if I can move this camera and just like sit down there and show you what I got instead of trying to lift it all up. Okay, so now I'm on the floor with my junk. <laughs> all right, so I did get another puzzle. This is a um, like teacup puzzle. Thought that was kind of cool. All right, so then we'll go through this kind of quick because I don't want you guys to be bored. It might be boring, but uh, some of these are just little accessory pieces, but um, I'm not going to open all of them, but I am curious. I, I don't think, I don't think these have even been out of the box. Truthfully, I don't think she had any room to display them, to be honest with you. Uh, anyhow, here's a little Campbell's trick or treat couple. Strangers beware. Just these are, like I said, little accessory pieces, treats for kids, bobbing for apples. Witch by the Light of the Moon. That's another piece. I don't know if these all go to the same set. Some of them are different colors. Like here we have Halloween Village Express. Oh, look. There's two of those. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know. I'll have to check for other duplicates. This is um, like a turkey. Turkey geese in the field. <clears throat> My throat is getting so dry. I need a drink. But I want to finish this up. Uh, trick or treat kids. Uh, this is um, Halloween luminaries. This is really cute. Can you see that? 
that runs by uh, a battery pack. Uh, let's see here. Swinging skeleton. Costumes for sale. Creepy Creek Carriage House. Now I have to open all of these. I don't know. They. Uh, I mean, this one doesn't even look like it was ever open. Now, this is the Hauntsburg House. Here we have, this is like a gift set, uh, one, 130 or 1031 Trick or Treat Drive. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I don't know. I will, like I said, have to open these. I couldn't do it there. It, th that would have been like the hottest mess in the world if I tried to sit there and open these up. There was literally no room for it. Uh, more Halloween kids. That might be a duplicate. Okay, sorry. I my I got cut off. I got another phone call. My phone is always ringing, and I'm trying to film this haul with my iPhone. So anyhow, I, I like to film my hauls with my iPhone. Um, I don't use the GoPro for my hauls. So anyhow, um, a Gravely Haunting 2004. This one looks creepy. I love Halloween and I am gonna love selling these buildings. Halloween Hayride. This is, I think I already showed you this. This is, a, this is the swinging skeleton. I think I already showed you that. I don't know what I'm doing. And this one is um, Shipwreck Lighthouse. So yeah, that is my hard goods haul. Super, super excited about it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, come back tomorrow for part two, which is going to be all the handbags, the clothing, and the shoes. I am so excited with the stuff I bought. So yeah, I, I really have my work cut out for me now because I went thrifting yesterday when I was in Ephrata. Um, wow. <laughs> I have my work cut out for me, but this sale was amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.